welcome everybody to another chaos Africa meeting again. Um, I think Chidalo, you can take over your facilitator, so let me not. Um, I have dropped the agenda, like the meeting notes in the chat. Um, you can add your name and let us know how you're doing today. For me, MTN is frustrating. I mean, <clears throat> So you can let us know how you are doing today. Um, Kilalo, is she still here? Oh. Okay, I think she, she okay, she's here, yeah, but I can't hear her. Maybe she's in the MTN so. Can anyone hear me? Let me be sure it's not my own network. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, then it's from Chidalo. She's in MTN, obviously. So welcome back, everybody. Um, I've been, it's just like I've been away for like a very long time. Jeez. Um, I think I think the last time. Ruth, can you hear me now? Yeah, breaking, but I think you're. Hey, continuing. God, my network. I think it's my network. Let me exit and rejoin. Sorry. Okay, no worries. Sure. Um, so we have a couple of agenda items. Who would love to take notes for us? Um, because the notes are quite important to round up. Elizabeth usually does this uh, round up of the meeting, so people that did not join can check the notes. Who would love to take notes? Like we need like you know one additional person. If Chida is able to come back, I can take notes while she facilitates, and someone else can take note if I am talking. Would anybody want to do that? Sorry, come again. Like take notes on the document as we go through the agenda. Then can look? you guys hear me now? Yeah, we can. Okay, hey, I'm back. <clears throat> Welcome back. Thank you, MTN. Okay. Wanted to embarrass. My God, this bigger. My God, this bigger. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this chaos Africa meeting. Hope you guys are fine. Hope you guys are okay. What is happening? What is going on? I need like one person to tell us how today has been going for them because give us just these old notes that we want to be hearing positive and good. Good things to be things that will make us happy and smile. Oh yeah, oh yeah, somebody, somebody. People want me to select so that I will not waste time. Now. Hi, Mary Blessing. Good, good afternoon. How how is today going? I, I select you. I've nominated you. Yeah. How is today going? Oh, so really speaking. Hi, Kida. Hi, everyone. Uh, my day is going well. Yeah, it's going good. Um, thankfully, I'm trying to not frustrate me today. Uh, yeah, we're going to slow the anyways. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, okay. So, uh, going straight to this on our agenda today. Okay, so, welcome. Do we have newcomers today? This, this, hmm. If today is like your first time of joining us, just raise up your hand, indicate that all <laughs> welcome. I think your volume is dropping. Thank you. Thank you. I want to cry. That's what you want to listen to me today. It's empty. Okay. 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 So, newcomers, hi, hi, hi. Please indicate if you're a newcomer. Let us welcome you. Let us give you the chaos welcome. Hi, Philip. Sorry, Felix. Hi. Hi, how are you? Welcome, 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 welcome. Who else? Who else? Who else? You people don't want to indicate now. We used to share money. I do. I said, let me tell you. Let me tell you now. We used to share money. Thank you. Come on, please. I need to introduce myself. No, I mean, anybody except Ruth and maybe Blessing. You can't be new. I, I, I don't know. Sharp Ruth, if you're new, you share money. I don't know. If, you're, oh. if your name is maybe Blessing and you're new, you also share money. Thank you. But hi. Oh, hi, Desmond. Hi, welcome. Welcome. 
ah, you know, you heard wrong, bro. you heard wrong, my love, you heard wrong. So, welcome everybody. Uh, okay, so let's get on with it. Mm -hmm. Chaos onboarding courses. Okay, so who's going to be handling this? Uh, okay, Oh, maybe that's you want to talk about it. Um, sure. Sorry, I'm trying to look. Um, oh, the chaos onboarding courses. Okay, <laughs> sure. My madam, yeah. since my madam said I should talk about it, I, I will definitely. All right. Destiny um, hello everyone. Happy new destiny. God, I beg. All right. Um, hello everyone. So, um. So about the chaos onboarding courses. Um, so we we recently started um, thinking of ways to um, help more people, you know, get into open source, and um, not just the chaos, um, like not just chaos as a project, right? So um, we wanted people to like get more involved in open source and learn learn more about open source right so um and that's how that's how the onboarding courses started and um so far there's been like an outline of how the course would would go right and um and um currently um we're in search of um, project managers right um so we need project managers to kind of like, you know, help us arrange. Sorry, anyone saying something? No, go ahead, sorry. Maybe it's All right, great. All right, great. So um, so we need project managers to help us arrange um, how this, how this course would be, right, for the people. So um, what should come first, you know, just bringing your project management expertise um, and skills into this stuff, right? Um, there's, always, there's already like a document you could, you know, start working with and a pool of people, you know, folks in the community can, that can always assist, um, you know, in, in doing this, right? Um, but we just need your expertise. So if you would like to contribute, um, I think we have a few persons, I think Adeyinka, and I can't remember who again on the call yesterday that, no, the first day that, um, that signified that they, they, they would be interested in volunteering. Um, but yeah, you can, you can, you can submit your name, you can add your name to the sheet if you would like to do this, like you're a project manager and you would like to like, um, work on this with Rex, with the rest of the folks you know involved, right? And um, yeah, there's the education channel on Slack if you don't know already. So um, so this is where conversations around the courses um, would take place, right? And if you have questions around around this, right? Um, so because the courses are for is it is for educational purpose. So um, so that's why that channel was created. So you can join that channel to ask questions, make contributions or, or suggestions, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it so far. Um, Ruth, did I miss anything? No, you didn't. Um, just adding like some more context on the onboarding courses. So with the way a lot of us would have had this experience where you join the chaos project and then you do not actually know what you are doing even until today <laughs> i'm still getting to you know understand the different parts of chaos um so we the general chaos community um thought about doing onboarding courses for even people that are new to open source kind of like courses that would help people understand how open source um, technology works um, and also the different parts of the chaos project right the different ways you can get involved and different working groups so this this is how the this is what this chaos onboarding courses kind of focus on and you know we have been having the conversations in the the weekly chaos meetings you know even in the di working group meetings so instead of just having those conversations every day we are looking for like someone that project managers that would you know tie the work together and help you know facilitate discussions take the work forward 
you know, um, so that it will come to life, right? So that um, they will also connect with um, the existing mm, contributors. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just, sorry. you know, add in some more context. No, continue, continue. I'm back. Sorry. All right. So, yeah, so, like, these are the, and you don't necessarily need to be, you know, have a lot of experience in the chaos project to contribute to this as well as you can bring people together not just project managers as well like if you want to because there will be a lot to do with the courses creating the content um you know recording the videos there, there are a whole lot of things so if you are interested in you know participating in this project and even it's even good that new contributors are get to participate because then they know how better the because the courses are for them and they will, they will know how better the courses should be structured and give feedback so you necessarily do not need to have a lot of experience to participate in this you can join the education channel like Mary blessing said to also um follow up on the conversation even though you're not like contributing yet um so that's about that particular topic thank you Mary blessing yeah you can also ask more questions if anybody has like a question as related to that particular agenda item. Hi, ask your questions, project managers in the community. Feel free. Feel free to sign up. Okay, so any more questions? Um, if there is no question, just one last thing. There is like meetings that holds around this. And it's usually during when um, the the DI uh, working group meeting holds, right? So um, you can also join that um, that working group and you know participate in that meeting, right? Um, so hear more, hear announcements or updates um, around this, right? Um, aside joining the education channel. All right. Okay. So, uh, I guess we'll move on to the next thing on the agenda: new data science channel. So, which of our awesome bosses wants to talk about this? Hi, uh, Julia. So funny. Um. So, there's a new data science channel. Um. Recently, um, the Chaos Project hired a director of data science, Don Foster, um, to you know, coordinate um, the data science efforts, all the data science efforts um, in chaos. And she just recently, I think she resumed this, she resumed this month and, you know, the channel just started up. And if you want to like kind of understand what um, the work is about, I'm trying to paste the documents, yeah. So the data science initiative, what um, Don is working on, you can also look at this document to further understand what Don is like the plan for the data science initiative in chaos. But I know a lot of times people have you know come to this um group um to to the chaos paper meeting and say okay I am a data analyst I'm a data scientist you know um, we've had a lot of people that work with data um you know come up in this meeting. So I decided to bring this to your attention that there is now like a data science group and Don, Don is the one leading this and Don Foster is the one leading this. So you can join the data science channel on Slack to get more like information on that. And you can also check out and read, read about her plans um, with this document. I'm not, I'm, I can't explain this document because um, I'm not really involved in the process, but you can the, um, I think she's also trying to like coordinate a meeting. Um, if you check the history, like the past messages, you see the poll that she sent on the channel. So you can, um, you know, participate in this if you're um, a data scientist, AI, um, you, you, you love doing data stuff. So you can also participate in this. Yeah, I think. Um, if there are any questions you can ask on the data science channel. So I think that's, I just want to bring it to our attention. All right. Thank you. So if you have questions, you can like join the data science channel or check out the doc that is attached to this part of the um, 
<laughs> the documents. <laughs> so, wonderful people. Next up is uh, the Chaos Africa Roadmap and Updates. There is a document. You guys can click on it and view it as well. I don't know if anyone wants to talk about yeah. it or... Okay. Yeah, I want a- to talk about this. All right. Last, I think that was two meetings ago. Um, I kind of shared that, you know, we want to kind of refine how Chaos Africa is. And a lot of people, you know, gave feedback on what they would love to see in a roadmap or a goal objective um, and all. If you were not in that meeting, we kind of also, I shared that when Chaos Africa started last year, we only wanted to find a way to like connect people to the Chaos Project because like there are a lot of things, there are a lot of things that are going, there are a lot of moving parts that go on in um, the Chaos Project and sometimes it can get really overwhelming. And, you know, when people started joining um, from Africa, it was hard to understand, okay, what is actually going on? So we started Chaos Africa to just connect people to the different parts of Chaos. But this year, um, we thought about okay like this this scope is now getting beyond what we think it should like why not um because there are a lot of people if you check our slack channel now they're like phone or something people and if you would agree with me a lot of people are new to open source new to tech they there's a large percentage of people that are new to open source and even new to tech as well right so um wanted to open up um the the community or the chapter to also educate people about open source, to also connect people with other communities that they might want to contribute to, not just, you know, chaos, right? So I think um, I started thinking about um, how to map out like our goals and objectives and maybe like a roadmap for us, um, you know, part of this work, um, I, I shared it in that meeting and then some people dropped some ideas that I brought together to this document. Um, ignore these comments you see here, this review from um, the regional ambassador for, there's a new, there are two new chapters for Chaos, Latam and uh, the Balkans. So this is um, Seller from, she's heading the, the, the chapter for Latam, Latin America. So we can ignore the comments here, but this is what so far I brought together right um and these are like kind of the four goals um i thought about um or you know i put together from all the comments that um you all put in the the conversation we had the last time one is to kind of enable education and skill development right going back to what i said about it, 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 a lot of times the people that join Chicago Africa are very new to open source and even tech. So a goal for us would be um, you know, finding ways to educate me people about open source. Another goal that I see is you know building a an inclusive community for in Africa, right? Bringing different people together, not just one particular class. It's called Chaos Africa, not just one particular set of Africa. Right now, I would say that Chaos Africa, um, the representation we have is good, but we can do better in bringing other people, like other um, African countries. Like we have representation from Nigeria, um, Kenya. Um, I think there's someone from Zimbabwe here as well. Um, we have from Ghana. Um, but so f- we also recently had someone like from um, Angola join, you know, but well, we need more representation. We need to bring in more people in to reach other people that are in different African, the different African countries. So working towards doing that, um, also working towards connecting people would we'll also still connect people to we'll also still connect people to the chaos project like how they can contribute just like the way i talked about the data science initiative and how people can participate in that or even the chaos onboarding courses will still do that but we we'll also want to expand beyond these countries that we have we want to represent um you know maybe not every country in africa but every region every part of africa we want to be fully represented and build like an inclusive community another 
kind of follow up on this particular goal is um you know pro- you know promoting like collaboration between these people between different people right between different communities um promoting creating spaces where people can collaborate right can do things together it, it might be through mentorship it might be through um conferences or meetups so we'd work towards doing all these things also um we also want to like for the, the goal three is about you know celebrating people celebrating the people behind are doing these things we also want to spotlight these people because um something that in my own in my experience that i have seen is a lot of times when you when work work is being spotlighted like when um you put the work out there there are different people that see the impact and then um they are aware that these kind of things are happening in africa and they know who to reach out to right um maybe because of chaos africa they know that this community exists um or these people this person in kenya is it because they were spotlighted the internet right so we were another goal that i would love um chaos africa to do is working to um celebrate the impact of what people are doing here in africa as regards open source um another the last one is um i don't know why my screen is frozen um Screen is frozen. But the last one is, I don't know why it's happening. But the last goal here is about building solutions. Um, one thing that um one thing that I've noticed so far is how much um you know we, I, I will not I, I don't want to totally say there are no solutions, but those solutions, can anyone hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, just very, very yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So one thing that I've noticed so far is about building solutions is sometimes I don't see I don't see enough technological solutions that are you know open source solutions in Africa, right? And even the ones that are there, they're not so they are they are not even the ones like the project, the open source projects that are out there, they are not so they are not noticeable or they are not they're not findable to some extent. So something, and, and this this might be stretching too far or being too ambitious, right? Um, I want to see um, how we can, you know, foster like technology innovation, how we can bring people together to build stuff. For example, I, I won't even say it's ambitious because for example, now um, through the GitHub Copilot um, Hackathon project, we are building, we are building a website, right, to showcase African open source projects. So that's something innovative, right? And so we can even do better to, um, to you know, build innovations. Maybe not even people in Chaos Africa building, it's help people see that they can build these innovations that address our specific challenges in Africa, right? So this might be too ambitious, but these are kind of the goals that I, that I outlined from the conversation we had and from things that I've been thinking about. Now, the roadmap, it's kind of like a replication of the goal. So it's pretty much the same thing. And I would also need maybe a designer that would do a pretty paragraph, um, a pretty graphic image of the roadmap. But this is what I have so far. And I want to throw it out to everyone and hear your thoughts, your additions feel free to drop comments on the doc on the documents and ask questions and even additions and stuff so yeah floor is open to anyone too um i would i don't know so maybe we might need to give folks time to go through it um to make more um Good. My useful comments. Um, I don't know. Yeah, sure. And you can also drop comments in like your free time as well. I know there's like a lot of text, but if you have like any feedback, you can always come back to um any questions. Or if if anybody has any thoughts right now, they can also say it.
So questions, 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 everybody. I'll find people. Any question? Or you guys want to wait to like um after going through the docs, then you can drop your questions in the doc as you know, comments. Going. Uh, I do have a question. All Is right. Please ask. Yes. Yeah, um, so this is amazing growth uh, and it's amazing to see how we are going to grow with it. So what I'd like to ask, will the goals be um, separated now into, let's say like implementation plans for each of them? Because from what I'm reading is like for each of these goals, they require like a whole other um, planning around it uh, to get it done. Does yeah, that make that's sense? Yeah, it makes sense. And okay. that's, um, if you see one of the comments Seller made here was kind of um, building a timeline, because like this seems okay. like a lot. So um, the roadmap here is like a kind of a repetition, not, let me not say repetition, but kind of it connects to these goals. They're all the same things. So for example, you see um, a roadmap here now for um, and Seller also said I should connect which which um, roadmap connects to which objective or which goal, right? If you can see education and skill development as something that um, relates to the first goal, right? Um, so building up a timeline of, okay, when are we going to do this? Um, when is this going to happen? For example, the All In for Africa program kind of covers this. So in a way we have already started doing it. So it's to build this up into a particular time. This is when this is happening, this is the period. Or is this an ongoing thing that will keep going? Or is this something that we can do once Did you get? So there's still more work around this. There's still like some, some extra work that would happen with this um, timeline, um, with this document where I'll build it up into like a timeline. And why I put in 2023 and 2024, there's a particular grant um, that we got from the Ford Foundation, and, and this is to the, the to support the work um, for the chaos project as really as relating to chapter building, like the chapters we have in Africa, Latam, and the Balkans. Um, so we were funded for two years. So that's why I put 2023 and 2024. Um, so building this up into like a timeline to show, okay, this is when this is actually going to happen. This is a, 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 a tax or this is a goal that will keep going on till maybe whenever, care, like forever, right? Or this is something that we can achieve within this timeline. I don't know if, it, if that answers your question, but I'm going to build this up later or be, like, into the timeline. If that helps. Okay. Yeah, it, it clarifies. Thank you. Congratulations on the grant. Thank you. Thank um, you, Catherine. Any more questions? Any more questions? People of God, ask your questions now. Ask. Hmm. All right. Uh, I guess uh, no more questions. So the gang gang of today, all in Africa program. My boss, over to you, Ma. I think um so if we were um how many of us were like in the the chaos con africa um program i announced the all in africa i announced all in africa as a program that you know github is partnering with us to launch right and for the past, I think since Chaos Africa has been two months or you know, one month, right? It has been one month. So for the past one month, um we've been working on defining this program. And it's even still in the works, but I realized that I have been saying I will talk about it for like one month. So regardless of the fact that it's not all done, I still want to like kind of share share this with people and um even as we keep refining how the program will work would we'll still i'll still come back to the group and share with everyone so for now um this this is the the 
the design or what this program is about. And it talks about one of our goals, which is enabling access to education, like open source education. So this program is going to be about anybody like it's it's going to be a course curriculum or a course it's going to be a program for any anybody interested in learning about open source and building their career through open source so we already we're already giving like the content the course curriculum um mainly about open source technology how to build your career in open source, how to connect, how to um, build a resume, how to set up your LinkedIn um, for future um, um, job opportunities. So that's that's how the curriculum is designed. Um, and I'll share it later on. I'm just giving you like a, trying to paint a picture of how the curriculum is um, and how this program would work is, it's going to be for one year um, and maybe in the future it will be extended for for more years or so but the the program is going to start for one year and would have um, regional ambassadors that will will um, work with us to spread these this program around their region like West Africa is north and south i think to some extent i hear there's central africa there are some countries that are in central africa so it would run for two cohorts in the year and the students can be like up to like 100 students per region for each of the region up to 100 students and it can extend beyond that and a cohort will run for like three months where the students will have access to the course platform um the name of the course platform is Canva and the curriculum the curriculum is already provided by GitHub um, all in GitHub right the curriculum is already there and then some exercises um, around contributing to open source through GitHub so the students will have access to that and throughout the period of three months they would engage with the with the course content um, learn about open source take the exercises build the projects um, and then at the end and even during the three months they'll also have access to um, you know events where or mentors where people will they would have access to people that would um, talk to them like open source experts that will speak to them you know engagement activities and at the end of that three months, there will be like a graduation event where they would have like a certificate um, for for going through the program um you'll have like a certificate for going through the program and um things we are thinking about for success here are the the number of students that will participate in this and when i use the word students it means the program students and like you have to be a university student also um also the people that you know finish up the program as well and the people that also become open source contributors would add more metrics here and there are, there are some people that are already involved in this work um i am the one program being i'm the program manager and um, precious is the person that you, because we have like i said we already have the curriculum right um but there are still some things we need to look at because the curriculum that was provided to us um, was a US, probably like a US centric um, audience. It was for a US centric audience because they have All In by GitHub has All In for students, which originally was for university students in the US. So there'll still there'll be need to design the content to um, you know look at the curriculum and see if there are some things that because definitely the level um, for of open source knowledge um, in the western world is different from here so there will be need to design the content to fit in more um, of of students that will be um, part of this um, program 
Kinsey will also work on like the um, branding for this and Mary Blessing will work as like um, a community manager. And then we also have the regional ambassadors, like I said, that would be, um, you know, in the different parts of Africa so that they can spread the work that we are doing and even bring in more, more students that would um, take these courses. And there'll also be volunteers. Um, and this is something I'm I'm still thinking on how people can I'm definitely sure that people here will def want to be part of this. So there'll be like a volunteer team as well. Um, I won't go through all these um, details because it's something that you can read. Um, but this is um, focusing more on this is the perks for like the students for the program, you know, the course curriculum, they'll have access to a community of people mentors um even a profile on um, a student profile on a linux foundation platform and even a certificate of completion but also look at this is a rough timeline for the program um as well um but in in the coming weeks or months we plan to launch this in september um and i'll keep um, updating us as the program goes forward, like when the applications are out for people to apply and all that stuff. So this is all what we have currently. And if anybody has like any questions or you know, any feedback, definitely love to hear. Sure. Um, yeah. okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I have a question. So what's the criteria for selecting these um, students or participants for this program? There's criteria is, as far as you have like interest in open source. And so it's it's not just, that's going to be, as far as you're interested in open, you do not need to have like any experience whatsoever. Um, as far as you're interested in open source, and it's not just going to be open to people that are in tech because open source transits beyond tech, right? So, so long you have an interest in open source, um, I think that's that's the criteria. Just having that interest is going to be open. Okay, open. then said up to hundred students from each region. Um, we have about four regions here, so that means we are expecting. Um, about 400 students, right? So um, that up to, that I put up to is not a peg. Um, I don't want to put it as a peg because um, I'm, I'm certain that um, would have, if there's an application, would have an overwhelming number of requests. So it's not a peg. It can, we can go beyond 100. Um, just, just we just have to make sure that the platform is able to carry that load, um, so it can go beyond that. But maybe for because this is for one year, like it, it was the 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 program is for one year for the start. We can peg it at something, but I don't want to see it's hundred right now. Okay, so that means if if we get up to. 700 to 1,000 people indicating interest, then we are taking all of them. When you say, like, in the whole regions? Yes, in the whole region, like, the number of people that indicated interest in open source in Africa, we have thousands of people We're taking all of them. Yeah, thousands of people. I, that's what I said, like, you know, I, I know there will be a lot of interest, so we can decide to peg it later on but right now i don't know where i'll peg it because um the the dependent factor here is maybe on the platform like okay with the, with the platform we're using is it going to be like an overwhelm overwhelming um will it be like a load on the platform we are going to use that's something i've not tested so i, I think that question is something i i we really have to like team has to like deliberate on like how many do you actually want to put in right, right. so i would right. definitely um really think about that and you know probably put a peg on it because definitely get it out all right thank you very much thank you for your questions
perfect. Um, the lights. I, I see a okay. pop. Hi, it's um, hi everyone. So my question um concerning this particular program, I want to know um what would be thoughts to the students? Is it only about open source or with programming languages or tech languages or tech and in tech um field will be taught along with these open source courses? Okay, that's um, a good question, but it's going to be more of open source using GitHub. I'm just giving a rundown through the curriculum now. Um, I can't really share my I can't really share my screen right now. I show the, the platform, but um, a rundown of how the course content looks like. It's more of open source. It's not, it's not going to be about how to learn like a programming language. It's more of like um, open source using open source. What open source is um using github um making like a pr uh, because since it's a github oriented program definitely using github to make a pr um you know skill development um around also career up like linkedin um setting up your linkedin um for job opportunities um so those those are like that's the current that's the current curriculum right now so it's not going to be about teaching you tech or about a particular programming language just more focused on open source and you know setting yourself up for um you know internship or job opportunities um okay okay that's nice that sounds great okay. that's all okay um jacob may I have your hand raised um go for it yeah, okay. So this story is so I come from in Nigeria. I think in another African country that we exist. Sorry, I I don't think I, I heard you. Could you could you repeat? Okay, I'm asking I'm asking, I said apart from uh, Nigeria. What what that uh, African country is chaos? What other African country? I'm trying to understand the question. So are you saying like about like Chaos Africa, it's not just for Nigerians, it's for like, you know, every African country because it covers the continent. Well, if if I didn't yeah. get your question correctly, you can rephrase. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that that that's what I'm saying. So I'm asking. Yeah. So, because I'm seeing uh, when you were explaining, you're talking about North Africa, West Africa, and all. So I was asking uh, the countries that uh, Chaos Africa is currently uh, found, like uh, is uh, Chaos exists. That's what I'm asking. Okay, okay. I think I get your question. So Chaos Africa, it's it's for the continent, but we currently do have representation in a couple of countries. Like I know we have people from the West, East, oh. and South. But I'm not sure we have anybody here from but this particular part of this program. So it's maybe just to explain in a bit of why I, you know, added this this aspect, like a regional ambassador, what they will actually do is I I this is going back to spotlighting the work that people are doing here in Africa as regards to open source. Like these regional ambassadors are people that have been recognized to ch that champion open source in their respective region. So I want to connect with these people. They will be all in, you know, ambassadors, right? Um, in their region. And they would help us connect with people in, say for example, North Africa, because um, a lot of times I have, reaching out to people that are not within like West Africa or knowing who is doing this in, say for example, Morocco, who is in open source in Morocco, I don't know, right? So with this program, I'm able to connect with people, like, you know, connect with people in other African countries and even expand the chaos Africa community, like make, expand it to represent more countries. So that's what these people, they will do, they will do in this program, you know, Talk about um, all in Africa in their regions, getting students from their regions to sign up for the program. Um, also work with us to, um, you know, take in the students, go through the program with them, see them through the finish line, you know, kind of all this kind of thing. So 
question if that helps your question yeah that that helps thank you so much for that for any more thoughts feedback questions you know So um, you was you think that uh, the Golovia aspect is not well uh, spelled out? Yeah, there will be calls for volunteers because I know definitely people are interested in you know bringing this to life, right? So there will be a call for volunteers. Um, I just need to, the team presently is uh this right now, um so. I just need to think about how, like, what are the ways volunteers will come in here, right? And then, voila, it's going to be open. Um, the light or the hand raised. Yeah, um, coming to um, the volunteers and how they will work, more especially the regional ladies, um, we we each be like the program we each be like a daily um school or is it something that we have um how I call it a fire side chat with the students why they do their take their courses on Canva? Okay, that's um that's a good question. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be self paced. That's why it's you know going to run for like three months it's going to be kind of self-paced but we'll definitely have all those like events in between like engagement activities right um originally the course content is something that i feel somebody can finish in a month but it's also going to be like paced in the sense that we just need you to like you know I, by this this november graduate we're going to be self-paced so we don't have to rush people to finish it, but in between there'll be like all those activities like talked about. Okay, that sounds okay. That sounds good. Okay, um yeah, go for it. So any more questions? Pick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hands, you have your hand up. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. Hello. Um, from what Sarah Ruth said, I want to make a suggestion about the learning curve. Like, I know it's say it's going to be a, a safe pace learning. So, I'm suggesting if Maybe the learning can be divided, the, the, the content can be divided for them into phases. Mm -hmm. That way, um, learners know, okay, from phase one, this phase one, this is what we're covering, phase two, this is what we're covering, and phase three, this is what I'm covering. That way, it can also help the coordinators to um, organize them very well and then monitor who is finishing this phase, who is not finishing this phase. Who has finished up who has not finished this phase so that i'm trying to suggest that yeah that that's a good suggestion i like it um yeah i, I didn't think of that so it, it gives you more structure into because then i think when it's self-paced people just be relaxed but yeah i would yes I that down. thank you okay um any more feedback, thoughts, comments? Yeah. Okay. Um. Definitely, if you even have more comments or thoughts, can reach out to me on Slack. Um. You know. Definitely. All right. All right, everyone. Uh, if you have more questions, just reach out to um, Ruth on slack up next is the uh the github co-pilot uh faculty of it enoch maybe blessing and i know that the, 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 sorry uh, that's more for catherine or anybody oh catherine about it she's not here all right catherine yeah. hi catherine yeah. okay yes i'm here can you hear me 
Yes. Great. Okay. Great. Um, so the Copa and Motakathon is moving along really well. Um, we are actually done. We, we've already gotten contributors for all the issues. And I believe most of them are done or they'll be completed within this week. So that's amazing. So hopefully we'll be deploying the project uh, on Netflix, I believe, by next week so that people can see it. Um, then also uh, I'll be developing the reports um, and, uh, and Ruth, I'll be organizing the video recording. I'll reach out to you within this week too. So I'm hoping by next week we'll have completed all all activities related to um, the co-pilot project. That's, yeah, we've made really good progress on it and I've worked with an amazing team for that. Mm. Is yeah. for the websites, you need, are they like things you need for um, like hosting, you know, things like that? Um, what's his name? He'd mentioned that uh, Chaos uses Netlify um, so Enoch, yes, Enoch had mentioned that uh, Chaos uses Netlify, I believe, um, but there's a way he had set up the workflows so that we can deploy automatically. Um, though that is not, it's still not happened yet, but I'll talk to him to assist. If there are any issues, I'll reach out to you. Okay, because like we do yeah. have like um, fund for mm -hmm. it, so you to buy it like a new domain. Yeah. Or I think speak to Enoch more than okay. All right, no problem. I'll talk to Enoch. Um, if there are any other issues, I will escalate them to you. Okay, great. Um, yeah. if you can just add those updates you talked about on the document, that would be great. I think I missed. Okay. I missed oh. what you said to some extent. Um, Jacob, you have your hand raised. I think don't you? Yeah, so it's about the bit of the stuff. So um, I think, so when next is this going to be a uh, next photo is going to happen this year again? Because I think that from the conversation I had, I don't know if there's going to be opening again that has just closed for now. Okay, Um. so I, I think, did you reach out to Catherine? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, okay. Catherine, there's no... Jacob, you're asking about whether there'll be more issues for you to work on. Yes, yes. Um, currently, the issues are all picked up. Um, yeah, unfortunately, most of the issues that are picked up. But in case there's any other that needs to be corrected or needs to be worked on, I'll reach out to you. You the one who had reached out to me on Slack. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know if there's any more issues. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, great. Um, Peculiar. Um, is it um your hand has been raised for a while? I have one more question. Okay. Yeah, is it a plan like uh, to have Chaos Africa decentralized, like having a chapter in, let's say, East Africa, West Africa, yeah, South Africa, and Central Africa, yeah, and North Africa? We have all that. Is there any like plan for yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's a very good question because um, I've been thinking about it a lot, like, um, you know. Mm, there are different languages. People speak different languages in Africa. So my, like we have Francophone countries. We have, um, you know, I think I think maybe in, like yes in the future because right now we we need if, if there needs to be something like that. Um, we need representation first from those communities and say okay yes these people are here but. If I would want to send that chapters, I'll maybe send it as regards to like English speaking Francophone countries, or I don't know if I'll call it even to call it chapters, but this is already a chapter. <laughs> but yes, there should be plans for something like that in the future, but there needs to be like some form of representation first. And I feel, I strongly feel that the all in, you know, that regional ambassadors program is something that will give that insights 
um, that okay, yes, there are people here that you know this this needs to extend beyond. Right now we are like around four hundred and something right in the Slack, but if we get more people that you know, if, as the con as the community continues to grow, let me put it that way, as the community con continues to grow, we can now start thinking of that extension. But right now, let's work together to you know do extend our reach right and then but think about that but yes I, I think there should be something like that okay what if, okay what if i have like all these places i mentioned i have people like no learners in those region is it like like maybe um i don't know i think you're breaking up peculiar if i'm the only one Oh, I don't seem. You're to not know. the only one. Yes, the final. Okay, yeah, is breaking up. Reaching out to them. Okay. Yeah, I think your question was if you have people, um, in those regions. Oh, you say I, would, I have. Yeah, I I would love to connect with them. I remember there's a time that um we, I I spoke on um I've forgotten the name of the program and then yeah, I think you read the you were facilitating things there. I I had. You invited me for a program I'm trying to remember but if you have people in those regions i'll definitely love to connect with them just reminding me i need to respond to an email like that but yeah i'll definitely love to co connect with them if you do and message me about it um i think we are at the top of the hour already um we have okay. two more um we have two more topics not like this topic i'd like like to move it to the next meeting um but for this um if you're interested in you know being a badger you can there's an orientation coming up to participate you can reach out to me to be invited to the orientation um and Chida, thank you very much for facilitating today um you're welcome thank would you would anybody love to facilitate next week Anyone oh, interested? Oh, Jacob, thank you. So um, let me stop the recording.